Okay. Okay, I want to focus because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm good. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next question. 444XD asks, Who do you think is the cutest girl in video games? Um, that's an interesting question. And it also really depends on your definition of cute. Um... Oh, okay, off the top of my head. Like, just, just completely off the top of my head. I think one of them, anyway, one of the cutest girls in gaming by far is Pearl Faye from, per, from Phoenix Wright. I'm sorry, Pearly is just so unbelievably adorable. I, oh jeez, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, yeah, Pearl Faye, I absolutely love her. She's one of my favorite characters in the Ace Attorney canon, and, oh my gosh, she's just that, she's just so optimistic, and I just love how, how cute she is in that she takes herself seriously as a spirit medium, Yet at the same time, she's still a little kid. She still has that mentality. And... Okay. She still has that mentality of a little kid, but she does take herself relatively seriously as a spirit medium. I love how she always refers to Maya as Mystic Maya, and... I also love the fact that she kind of treats Phoenix as, like, a father figure, sort of. Um, but yeah, it's like... And also, in Dual Destinies, oh my god, Pearl Fae in Dual Destinies, like, I... I smile every time she's on this. She's on the screen because that little smile of hers and when she holds her face. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pull up a picture, guys. Just look, look at this, okay? You cannot tell me that you can look at that and not crack a smile because is buggy. Pearl is just so freaking cute. She's so adorable. Like even amongst like the dark, the darkness of Dual Destinies. Because trust me, that game gets really, really dark. Um, even amongst the darkness of, uh, Dual Destiny's subject matter, she's just that little ball of sunshine that, that, uh, comes in, comes to the rescue and helps Phoenix Wright feel all the better about what he's doing. I just love Pearl so much. Um, I guess, uh, I guess I can name some others, uh, in, from video games that I can think of. Um, Sakura from Street Fighter is relatively cute in my opinion. Um, who else? Um, I also think the Toho Girls? Um, from the Toho series are pretty well designed. I, I really like, I really like their designs, and they're really well, they're really well drawn. Um, aside from that, I can't really, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, but those, those three examples are the ones that come off the top of my head, like, immediately. Oh yeah, and Ghost Zelda from, uh, from, uh, Spirit Track, she's pretty cute as well. Just, just, just her demeanor is absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope that's strong enough. Ah, oh, jeez! Dang it. Oh man, I need to catch up. Yeah, as you can tell, guys, these courses are only getting harder and harder as you go. Which makes sense, considering that's how a game should be. Oh well, I'm, I'm keeping up a good pace for the most part. Alright, let's say we move on to the next question. Booter Pikachu Boy asks, Who would you want to see in Death Battle? There are several I want to see in Death Battle. Um, let's see, off the top of my head, I can immediately say that I want to see Travis Touchdown and, uh, and, and Jack Kamen. I know I took that from, I know I took that from, oh, jeez, uh, no, ah, dang it. I, I can say I took that one from, uh, the Fiery Joker, but come on, everyone wants to see that one. Um, let's see, what else, um, I kind of want to see a, uh, oh, is that going in? Is it going in? Yeah! <laughs> oh man, I made up for that one. And sorry if I blew your ears out, guys, but that was pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, sorry. Um, more death battles that I would like to see. I would really like to see, uh... Honestly, I'd really like to see Kefka Palazzo and, uh, Ganondorf. Like, two of the greatest villains and two of the greatest, like, spellcasters in gaming. That would be an epic battle. Um, another one I want to see is, um, I actually, uh, this is actually one that I commented on earlier. I really want to see a death battle between Spinal and Cervantes. Uh, Spinal from Killer Instinct and Cervantes from, uh, uh, from Soul Calibur. Because they're both, uh, undead pirates in a sense, so that would be pretty awesome. And, yeah, probably another one would be, uh, Ryu and Jago because Jago is pretty much the requisite Ryu in Killer Instinct, but I might, I'm actually really curious as to see how a death battle between those two would go. Especially since I'm huge fans of, I'm, I'm a huge fan of both of them. 
Dang it. So close. Just a light tap on this one, and that's gonna be a par. Nice par. Alright. <laughs> Next question comes from Royal Name31. Would you do a countdown with Josh Scorcher? Ah. <sighs> You can you can tell from my you can tell from my reaction there that I really 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 want to work with Josh Scorcher. Um, he's actually the inspiration of a lot of what I do on this channel. Um, both countdown wise and kind of pretty much everything else. I mean, I'm not saying that I copy the guy uh, like directly. I mean, our styles are pretty different. Um, he does a lot of clever humor with his editing and. Uh, he, he's a lot more prone to poke fun at himself, which is always good. Um, yeah, I got a comment from uh, someone else about my style. Like, you guys pretty much... Oh, man, that was a terrible shot. Hopefully I can make that up. Um, I, I don't want to drive on the... I don't want to drive on rough, but I think that'll do. Anyway, yeah, like, Josh Scorcher and I have completely different styles. He's more... He's very informative, but at the same time, he pokes fun at himself, and he has some pretty good humor with his editing. I pretty much nice stick job. with being informative, and I kind of... And whenever I do jokes, it's pretty rare. Um, but yeah, I really would like to um, to uh, do a countdown with the guy, because... Um, I think he and I have similar tastes when it comes to... Ah, oh, come on! Anyway, I think he I think he and I have similar tastes when it comes to gaming, and he pretty much is my inspiration for a lot nice of what job. I do. Um, if someone wants to put in a good word for me, please do so, because I've been trying to contact the guy for the longest time, and I all these years I have yet to talk to him. Um, I know he commented on one on like a couple of my countdowns, and I really appreciate that, but I, I never got the chance to talk to the guy, and I really, really want to. Um I mean, I know he's busy, and, like, he's a marine and everything, and, he, like, he has to put duty first, which is always admirable. I have a lot of respect for guys who are in the armed forces. Um, I tried to be... I tried to actually get myself recruited into the armed forces, and I could have if it weren't for the fact that Crohn's disease, uh, pretty much completely, um, completely disqualifies you from doing so. And yet, at the same time, like, a year later, I found out that I am not diagnosed with Crohn's disease. In fact, it was a dud. Ah, oh, man. This is... You got you gotta love doctors sometimes, people. But yeah, um, I kind of went off track there. Bottom line, I really, really, really want to do a countdown with Josh Scorcher. I just gotta find a way to contact the guy first. Um, but I guess I'll just keep trying and hope for the best. Anyway, next question comes from uh, Fanboy5593. Can you make a countdown about Pokemon that are overrated? I would if it weren't for the fact that I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. Um, yeah, big surprise. I mean, I know I did a countdown on my top 10 favorite Pokemon, but truth be told, like, I only did that as, like, someone who's, someone who's, uh, more in, more just playing the game for fun and not, like, take it completely seriously or anything like that. I am not the biggest Pokemon fan. So... To do an overrated Pokemon nice countdown, job. I mean, you can already put Charizard on there, in my opinion. But, eh. I'm not, I'm not too well-versed in the series to be, uh, to be able to do a countdown like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much how it is at this point. Nice. Alright, awesome. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Omega Sniper 9001. Nice. Uh, he asks... Who is your favorite character from the Persona series? Oh, good gosh, that is a brilliant question. Especially since uh, Persona is... Yeah. Persona actually recently bumped up to one of my favorite series of all time. Um, I still have yet to completely play the third game. I, I got in the taste of the third game, and it's pretty darn good. But I haven't finished it yet, and um, I have played all of uh, four. Um, right off the top of my head, I can safely say that my favorite... Uh, I, I can say that my favorite character is Chie. Um, a lot of what I like about Chie, and this is kind of a weird thing to say, especially online, but I'm actually a huge fan of Tomboys. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, like, I'm a huge... Ah, oh, jeez, this is a terrible situation I'm in right now. Um, let me see if I can do this. Okay. 
No, I'm gonna have to do it this way. This is gonna be a tough shot, but here goes. Well, I got it over. Oh, no. Too bad. Still a bunker, but at least I have a clear shot now. Um. Okay, I'm out there. Alright, so back to the question. The reason I like Chie is because, um, I myself like tomboys a lot. It, like, it's kind of a weird thing, but I, ju I just like tomboys uh, generally. Um... And overall, I like Chie's Spunk. Um, she's also my favorite uh, character to use in uh, in Persona 4 Arena, and she was. And I played through Persona 4 Golden, um, I think like four times, and every time Chie was on my main team because I also like I also admire the fact that she doesn't use weapons. Like she only uses her kicks, and that's pretty freaking awesome. And oh man, this is gonna be a bad hole. Um. Other character, other characters that I like. Kanji is freaking awesome. I really like. Uh, yeah, I know. So sorry, Plum, but that wasn't my best hole at all. Um. Oh wow, we're already on the on the last hole. So yeah, I guess I'll finish up this question and then we'll wrap it up. Um. I really like Kanji because I love his character. Like he, he like I love how conflicted he is with his own interests, and yet he knows pretty much who he is. Um, hit, and which is kind of a shame because Josh Jepsen was p let's playing uh, Persona 4, and he didn't do Kanji's Kanji Social Link. I don't know why, because Kanji Social Link is so good. Um, I really like Naoto as well, and from Persona 3, I can easily say my favorite character from Persona 3 is Akihiko. Akihiko Sonata is freaking awesome. He's also my he's also one of my main fighters uh, from Persona 4 Arena. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much like off the top of my head. I pretty much like all the characters uh, from Persona. Like, there's not really a single character that I hate. Um, main character-wise, I mean, I really don't like. Uh, oh man, I can't think of him off the top of my head. But but the homeroom teacher from from the the homeroom teacher in Persona 4, I really don't like him. Other than that, like all the characters, I really like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Eh, third place. You know what? Top three. I'm, I'm not going to complain. We still get a trophy. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me for the third episode of Let's Play Mario Golf. The Shy Guy International is done. In the next episode, we will be taking on the next course and answering a lot more questions. So, I'll see you guys then.